Hey guys, it's your boy Malik on Fleek 3.0 back at it again with another motherfucking video. And I don't know what's up with me, man. I'm, it's like the fucking fourth Spider-Man video I made. Like, remember that time like I was making fucking DC videos that was all Damian Wayne and Raven videos and maybe some other shit, but it was mostly those two in the middle of it. And I made like a good couple of those. And now I'm making just strictly Spider-Man right now. That, that's weird. I don't know, I just feel very passionate about like the relationships she should have been in and could have been in if the writers just didn't feel like a pussy. Like, they didn't fucking do that Cone Bakes reverse back to normal shit. These are the ships that we could have had. That we might have just fucked, fucking enjoyed it, honestly. Like, if we just had it, we would be like, I see no problem with this. Maybe there'll be problems down the line, but that's something. Matter of fact, why don't you just make an alternate universe? Which you have multiple alternate universes that has them being in a relationship and actually staying in it instead of retconning it or some for some reason breaking them up to go back to something else that they used to be. Like, why would you do that? Why would you do it? It gets boring seeing Peter Parker with Mary Jane, dog. I go cop. They literally was married, and then one Arthur decided to be a bitch. I ain't gonna cap that was a bitch ass move, my nigga. He decided to make the devil literally break them niggas apart. That's crazy. But other than that, that's boring just to hit, see Peter Parker with Mary Jane. I ain't gonna cop. You literally had an ultimate Spider-Man in the alternate universe before Spider-Man died and Miles Morales took up the reins. You literally had this nigga dating multiple chicks, bro. You literally had the nigga dating multiple chicks. You literally had him dating Kate, um, Kitty Pride, bro. That is crazy, but you can't have him in Ultimate Spider-Man, the actual show, date fucking white tiger but you have the nigga dating kitty pride and i'm pretty sure there was others that he dated and i just can't remember at the moment because i used to be like reading all of the ultimate spider-man comics before that led up to his death but like come on bro i literally just made another video about how he should have if they just made an alternate universe that had him and fucking silk to be um be together bro if they were to be together, that would have been nice. Could have been interesting. They both could have developed together. I'm not saying that a character needs another one to develop, but it would be interesting to see the dynamic they would have if they were together long fucking term. Let's be real. Like, I literally made a video about how Miles Morales and Gwen Stacy are going to get together, hopefully, in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. The Spider-Man into Spider-Verse 2. I hope they get together because that's what it's kind of showing. And they also did it in the comics. Not really confirmed it, but like teased it. Like you don't have to like, you know, make it happen like on a snap. But like slowly burn it into a relationship. They don't have to be forced into a relationship. Trust me, nobody's gonna like that shit. That's why people like fucking Black Cat and Spider-Man, right? You go from the typical villain versus hero role. But at some point, those things are going to intertwine. And the hero will always fall for the bad girl. I ain't gonna cap. Just like how the, the good girl will fall for the bad guy, the good guy is going to fall for the bad girl at some point. And I ain't gonna do cap. Black Cat is a nice cat, bro. A nice one. And he should get with her. Maybe there was a reason, which I can't remember. I think it was this reason that she only loves him for Spider-Man and not Peter Parker. Which makes sense. 
because she on, she only knew him as Spider-Man for like the, the longest. But can we can we let, let's just put that out there? Correct me if I'm wrong. Did Mary Jane do the exact same thing, especially in the Tobey Maguire movies? This chick dead ass only liked this nigga because he was Spider-Man, not because he was Peter Parker, because he was Spider-Man. No, We're, nobody gonna correct me on that. All right then. I, 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 all right then. She would have learned to love Peter Parker because at the end of the day, you when you love somebody, you had to love all of them, not just one part or or else it's not love. And Black Cat and Spider Man might have been one of the best ones. Maybe it could have gone somewhere, bro. It really could have gone somewhere. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just a loveless fool who just, you know, or a romantic who thinks that everybody should have a chance with somebody. Maybe I'm just tripping. Because honestly, I am ain't going to cop, bro. Black Cat and Spider-Man would have been a good fit. Would have been a good fit. Maybe it wouldn't have last long. Just like it did in the comics. But it would have been a good fit. Just like how him and Silk would have been a good fit if they actually let that shit slide. I ain't gonna lie. Like, why the fuck would you? I'm, getting, I'm going a little too hard. I'm going a little too hard. But Black Cat and Spider Man actually been one of my favorite couples. I go cap to see my one of my favorite relationships that Spider Man ever had was with Black Cat and Silk. MJ, okay, in the comics she's fine. Let's go. Okay, I'm not gonna let that slide. MJ is a good character, bro. But it's boring. It's literally boring. I don't. Out of all his relationships, out of all Peter Parker or Spider Man's relationships, even when they're both combined as one person, Mary Jane is not even up there, bro. Out of all his relationships, I shit you not. I shit you not. Lily, Black Cat, and Silk are literally in the top three, bro. Quite literally in the top three. Matter of fact, they might be one and two. And then I might be talking about Miles Morales and Gwen Stacy or Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy in there. But like I said, the good guy will always fa sometimes fall for the bad girl. Like in Spectacular Spider Man, one Mary, he got that symbiote and he's really fucking with Black Cat. Remember she hit him with that little. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Or I forgot that one web of shadows, dog. That one really dove deep into Black Cat and fucking Spider Man's dynamic. And if you chose the symbiote, you would have chose to save her life and to be with her, bro. That's crazy. It was either her or MJ. In high key, I would have chose Black Cat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I would have. I would have. I would have. I would have just took the symbiote and be like, "Yo, fuck you, MJ." No offense. Maybe offense, but I'm taking Black Cat because first of all, Black Cat is finer. There's no doubt about it. I don't know something about that white hair, dog, and the eyes, and that suit. Fucking amazing. I'm pretty sure there was a comic. Maybe it's a new. It's a new comic. I don't know, but I remember seeing it on TikTok and somebody was talking about it, and it was like Black Cat and Mary Jane had a team up one time, and this nigga said that when he woke up, he's like, oh, not this dream again, and I guess he had a dream that Black Cat and Mary Jane. Were Cause in that scene, Mary Jane is wearing a black cat costume also, and he's like, he had a dream that he was fucking with black cat and Mary Jane. Valid. I ain't gonna count that's valid. But I really choose black cat over Mary Jane any time of the day. It's just something about it. And maybe the reason it didn't work out, which will make sense, is that you know, black cat at the end of the day, even though she can be heroic, villainous also. She still works for her self-interest. That's not what Peter Parker does. He's with great power comes great responsibility shit. That's his shit. That's why they might not mess well. But I'm pretty sure that they were to work this out and the writers were actually like let this develop and let them have time together over time. This would have been something interesting. Have them actually try to make this relationship work. 
and see how that fucking go. If it goes to shit, it will go to shit, and I will go down with it. I, I'm sorry. I'm like, yo, you know what? That didn't work out how I thought it would. would how I thought it would. I'll take the L on that one. But yet, nobody has done that. Maybe I haven't read the comics enough to see that. But from what I know, that's not the fucking case. It's not the fucking case. <sighs> Spider-Man will always go back to the status quo because that's how the authors and that's how Marvel Comics work. That's how all comics work. They will always go back to the status quo. So Spider-Man would never be with Black Cat, no matter how much I wish it. Him or Silk. We complete 3.0 out. Deuces. Deuces.